Uh, now uh, we're gonna uh, see uh, hands on uh, and some examples of uh, changing parameters of a system called by using hyper -DVG. Also, we're gonna change the results of a system call. Uh, so let's see the examples. I put the source code for the uh, examples here in the S scripts file. Uh, the first example is that we try to uh, debug a special system call. So let's say that we want to debug uh, 0x55, uh, which, uh, which is the system call number for anti create file. And uh, I want to uh, debug this special process. So let's see it in action uh i will try to continue yeah uh run the run this uh again uh, i have the process id and updated version of the process id i put the process id here and uh, it just prints the system calls and if the system call number equals to 0x55 then it pauses the entire session so uh, again i pause this man uh, i produce run this system call and continue the normal execution so i press enter here whenever i press enter here as we see here, tries to run uh, uh, as we see here actually uh, after a breakpoint uh, it tries to run anti create file. So first we have, we have to see a breakpoint. Uh, nothing is executed yet we don't see any syscall number here it's just a simple breakpoint and when i continue the debugging normally then we can see that the system call number 55 is executed and now we are in the middle of executing the system call we pause the system uh, system on a system call so i can see the parameters here this, these are this is the first parameter to the system call uh, this is the uh, <coughs> second parameter and this is the third and fourth parameter to the system uh, again i have a, a example here uh, in uh, anti create file the execution is uh, let's just show the anti create file Uh, in anti create file, uh, the, which is the kernel function, both an anti DLL and kernel function, uh, here's the way that we pass the uh, parameters. At the, as you can see in the third parameters, we have object attributes, and here in this example, uh, I just want to intercept the third uh, parameter and uh, it's a simple printf which prints uh, adds uh, 10 bytes to the R8 or third parameters and adds uh, 0x8 to them and then finally dereferences everything and, shape and uh, show it on the format of a Unicode string. And this is the same as the previous example that we see in the previous sessions. Is, is, uh, we, in the previous session, we, uh, so we did the same thing for uh, uh, object attributes. We saw it previously, so I just <laughs> avoid to re-explain it and just try to execute it. As you can see that, uh, this uh, function uh, this uh, command prints the print uh, the the name that uh, name of the file that we try to uh, 
change or try to uh, open in our system so i just try i i uh, if i want to print the exact address of this uh parameter in the user mode i use this command it's exactly the same as the above command but instead of showing in showing it in unicode format it just simply shows the address so if i want to see the address by using dc command we can see that it's available on uh <laughs> this address so uh here i just want to have a simple modification here i want to change the name here let's say uh, this is the hyper dbg and i want to intercept this change this address to uh, This is for P, uh, this is for uh, backslash, and here, this, this should be something for H, for this one, and this should be for Y. So I just try to set it to a known uh, letter, for example, A, a capital A, which uh, its hex number is uh, 41, and again, change the Y here to B or 42, uh, 42 and P to C. Yeah, here, here is just, just a simple example. Of, I just want to show you how we can modify these uh, parameters and also we we run before i mean uh, we have this file already because uh, this is the second time that we try to run this system called process so we already have the file but the, the file is the file that is here is not for uh current run the current a run of the program is not yet executed so the file is not made yet i just uh, modified the file name to something like a b c d e r d b g and uh, before continuing the system uh, the system called parameters are no modified so i continue the execution yeah, what you can see here is the list of the system calls that uh, I, in, in this example, I try to uh, print the system call number for all the system calls. So here we have a list of system calls here. These system calls relate to the graphic or Win32K and these system calls relate to NTOS kernel uh and as you can see that the file name is modified it's uh, the name is not hyper dvg anymore it, it's a b c e r dvg and again we have the same parameters here now let's see the last example in this example we again use the same file i just want to delete these files and uh, yeah. Um, okay. I clear uh, if you want to see the events. Uh, we have these events active on our system. Not important. So I clear them all and continue the debugging. Mm -hmm. okay i just run this exam uh, this uh, process again and here is the process id along with thread id i uh, change the thread id here in this example uh like what we see in the previous slides uh and uh then uh we in the sysret uh hooking we see this example that we try to uh modify uh, the uh, 
that we want to modify or we want to see the results of a sysred uh, uh, instructions. And in this example, I try to modify the RX, which is the return uh, value from the kernel to the user mode to this special uh, value. So, so let's let's see it in action. Uh, I run these, uh, these scripts here. Yeah, it was okay. Simple continue the debugging normally, and uh, oh, we forget to change the name of the, the thread ID. So here is the thread ID. I will manipulate it here. Uh, run these commands again on Hyper-DVG. Continue the execution and press enter. Now we should see uh, the system is halted because of this breakpoint. And I continue it again, uh, but uh, and the, as you can see here, that the application is uh, executed uh, normally, uh, uh, and you receive fail to create file error, and this is the error. This is the exact error that uh, we put here. So we changed it, and uh, you can see you can see the file is also empty. Uh, the file is empty because uh, here, if it was uh, not successful, then we return with an error. So uh, the content, this hello world, won't be written on the file.